today's episode of Film Learning is sponsored by Video Blocks, old sport. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you good. Now, let me ask you this. Have you ever been under the pump? The deadline is approaching and you're unable to make that intro or transition or just need a piece of footage to establish your location because you can't afford to rent a drone or a helicopter or actually go to a location because your budget's a pack of Tic Tacs and a ham sandwich? Of course, the answer is yes. Unless you have, I don't know, James Bond Jr. Is that still a thing? Come to think of it, how is he James Bond Jr. if James Bond was his uncle? <coughs> Thanks for that. Back on topic, I want to talk to you about Video Blocks, gang. They have what I think is the best deal as far as stock footage goes. They have over 10 million bucks worth of footage, After Effects templates, and motion backgrounds. And better yet, once you sign up, you can download as much as you want and it's 100% royalty free. I've used their stock footage and templates in some of my previous videos and it's pretty easy stuff to download and work with. In fact, I used one of their templates to make the Film Learning 30k Film Comp title screen right here. And you'll be pleased to know, they also have all your old man needs covered. They've got old man sitting on deck, old man snacking while reading, old man pouring wine, and say you're not in the old man mood, God knows why. We've got this dude in a lab coat looking at apples like a turtle boss, this old lady being Frenched by her dog in slow motion, or whatever the hell this guy's doing. I guess what I'm saying is they have a lot of variety. So today, I'm gonna to show you just how easy it is to download one of their templates from their unlimited library and customize it to suit your needs. So let's get to work. Okay gang, we're starting off right here at the homepage of the Video Blocks website. Our first step is to click After Effects, and then we'll head up here and hover over the After Effects menu. As you can see, we have a bunch of options to choose from, but today I'll be choosing Logo Reveal. Now when the page loads up, you'll see a bunch of different logo reveals from both the paid marketplace and the unlimited library. Since we only want the unlimited library today, we're gonna click right here to filter the search results, and there we go. So as you can see, there's still over 300 logo reveals to download, and if I hover over one like so, you can see it shows a preview of what the template looks like. That way, you know exactly what you're getting. Now I'm going to scroll down and find the logo reveal I used for the 30k title card. And here it is. And to download it, all I have to do is click download and it prompts me with a format choice. In this case, it's just the one format. I'll hit download and that's it. Pretty damn easy, huh? Once the template's downloaded, we can unzip the file and jump straight into After Effects and start playing. I'm just going to skip to After Effects. No one wants to see me unzip a file. So here we are in After Effects, gang. As you can see, I've opened the After Effects template and we've got a couple of folders to work with. One that says Edit Logo here and one that says Render here. We also have a folder marked Comps too, but that mainly just houses some of the assets used in the final render and we don't need to touch it. So for starters, let's open the Render here folder and as you can see, we have three comps. The main comp, which houses all of the editable parts and two different size render comps, a 720p comp and a full HD comp. Let's open both the main and the full HD comp and the edit logo comp. Now as far as the render comp goes, there's nothing we can really do here. It simply houses the main pre-comp and it's just here to facilitate rendering and previewing. The real magic happens in the main comp. So let's jump into that. So here in the main comp is where we can really play around and make this template our own. But firstly, I wanna head over to the edit logo comp and show you how easy it is just to change it the logo. So let's open it up. Now guys, you can see the Video Blocks logo acting as a placeholder, so I'll just delete that. Now I'm going to head over to the project window, and I've imported the 30k Film Comp logo, and I'm just going to drop that right in here like so, and move it into place. Now, if we head back to that final render comp, you can see it's already updated to show the logo I just dropped in. See? How friggin' easy was that? But as always, I'm not 100% happy with the final look, so here's what we can do to customise the template to suit our needs. For starters, I don't want the letterboxing, so I'm just gonna turn it off. And I really don't dig that light shining down on top of my logo and blowing it out, so I'm just gonna turn that off too. And the orange around the logo, well, that's gotta go. But now, and I think you'll agree, it looks a little sad. So what I'm gonna do is head to presets and type bevel and add a bevel alpha to my logo. And bump it up a little. And maybe change the angle. There we go. And to make it pop a little more, I'm gonna duplicate my logo comp change the transfer mode to screen, like so, and then head to effect, blur and sharpen and add a fast blur. I'll then crank the blur amount anywhere from 20 to 50 and that'll add a nice soft glow. And finally, we'll head down, hit T and bump that opacity just down a touch, 
just so the glow doesn't overwhelm the shot. And as you can see, we have some animation on the opacity. So what we'll do is just scroll along the timeline until it reaches 100%, that's here. And then we'll bump that down to say 50%. We'll then scroll along the timeline to the next keyframe and bump that one down to 50% as well. That way it stays at 50% through the entire comp. And lastly, I don't really want that logo to spin in all crazy like. So what I'll do is I'll select both of my logo layers, hit R to bring up our rotation settings, and I'll just delete that initial rotation keyframe. That way, my logo will stay completely in place. Now, if we head back to the final render comp, you can see that within the space of a few minutes, we've been able to customize this template to something that suits our needs. Pretty awesome, huh? Add up all those steps and you've taken that template from this, Utter this. So that's a quick overview of working with the After Effects templates from Videoblocks, gang. As you saw, pretty damn easy to work with, and in no time at all, you've got yourself a cool looking motion graphic, and you didn't even have to do much work. For 99 bucks, you can get full access to the unlimited library for a full year full of downloads, so you can just go nuts. They also have their newly launched marketplace where people can contribute their own stock footage, and more than 1,500 artists have already uploaded more than 200,000 clips. Now, this footage isn't free, but the good news is the contributors get 100% commission for their work, which, as a filmmaker myself, is always a good thing. I've also posted a link for you down in the description to check out all of Videoblock's After Effects templates, so feel free to peruse at your leisure. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll be getting back to our usual effects-filled egg-headedness next week, but until we do, be sure to subscribe right there. There's all the social media crap right up there, and of course, keep learning!